CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 4 Simple Equations Page 81 Exercise 4.1 1. Complete the last column of the table. The table has four different columns. Serial number, equation, value. Say whether the equation is satisfied. Yes or no. 1. X plus 3 is equal to 0. X is equal to 3. Dash two X plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to zero. Dash three X plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to minus three. Dash four x minus 7 is equal to 1 x is equal to 7 dash 5 x minus 7 is equal to 1 x is equal to 8 dash 6 5x is equal to 25 x is equal to zero dash seven five x is equal to twenty five x is equal to five dash eight five x is equal to twenty five x is equal to minus five dash 9. M upon 3 is equal to 2. M is equal to minus 6. Dash. 10. M upon 3 is equal to 2. M is equal to 0. Dash. 11. M upon 3 is equal to 2. M is equal to 6 dash 2. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not. A. N plus 5 is equal to 19. N is equal to 1. B. 7n plus 5 is equal to 19. n is equal to minus 2. c. 7n plus 5 is equal to 19. n is equal to 2. d. 4p minus 3 is equal to 13. p is equal to 1. e. 4p minus 3 is equal to 13. P is equal to minus 4. F. 4P minus 3 is equal to 13. P is equal to 0. 3. Solve the following equations by trial and error method. 1. 5P plus 2 is equal to 17. 2. 3m minus 14 is equal to 4. 4. Write equations for the following statements. 1. The sum of numbers x and 4 is 9. 2. 2 subtracted from y is 8. 3. 10 times A is 70. 
4. The number B divided by 5 gives 6. 5. Three fourth of T is 15. 6. 7 times M plus 7 gets you 77. 7. One fourth of a number X minus 4 gives 4. 8. If you take away 6 from 6 times Y, you get 60. 9. If you add 3 to 1 third of Z, you get 30. 5. Write the following equations in statement forms. 1. B plus 4 is equal to 15. 2. M minus 7 is equal to 3. 3. 2M is equal to 7. 4. M upon 5 is equal to 3. 5. 3M upon 5 is equal to 6. 6. 3P plus 4 is equal to 25. 7. 4P minus 2 is equal to 18. 8. P upon 2 plus 2 is equal to 8. Page 82. 6. Set up an equation in the following cases. 1. Irfan says that he has 7 marbles more than 5 times the marbles Parmeet has. Irfan has 37 marbles. Take M to be the number of Parmeet's marbles. 2. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. He is 4 years older than 3 times Lakshmi's age. Take Lakshmi's age to be Y years. 3. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7. The highest score is 87. Take the lowest score to be L. 4. In an isosceles triangle, the vertex angle is twice either base angle. Let the base angle be B in degrees. Remember that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. 4.4.1 Solving an equation. Consider an equality. 8 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 1. Equation 4.5 or the equality 4.5. The equality 4.5 holds since both its sides are equal, that is, each is equal to 5. Let us now add 2 to both sides. As a result, LHS is equal to 8 minus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7. RHS is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 5 plus
plus 2, which is equal to 7. Again, the equality holds. That is, its LHS and RHS are equal. Thus, if we add the same number to both sides of an equality, it still holds. Let us now subtract 2 from both the sides. As a result, LHS is equal to 8 minus 3 minus 2, which is equal to 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. RHS is equal to 4 plus 1 minus 2, which is equal to 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. Again, the equality holds. Thus, if we subtract the same number from both sides of an equality, it still holds. Similarly, if we multiply or divide both sides of the equality, by the same non-zero number, it still holds. For example, let us multiply both the sides of the equality by 3. We get LHS is equal to 3 multiplied by, within brackets, 8 minus 3, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 15. RHS is equal to 3 multiplied by, within brackets, 4 plus 1, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 15. The equality holds. Let us now divide both sides of the equality by 2. LHS is equal to, within brackets, 8 minus 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 upon 2. RHS is equal to, within brackets, 4 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 upon 2, which is equal to LHS. Again, the equality holds. If we take any other equality, we shall find the same conclusions. Suppose we do not observe these rules. Specifically, Suppose we add different numbers to the two sides of an equality. We shall find in this case that the equality does not hold. That is, its both sides are not equal. Page 83 For example, let us take again equality 4.5. 8 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 1. Add 2 to the LHS and 3 to the RHS. The new LHS is 8 minus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7. And the new RHS is 4 plus 1 plus 3, which is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. The equality does not hold, because the new LHS and RHS are not equal. Thus, if we fail to do the same mathematical operation with same number, on both sides of an equality, the equality may not hold.
the quality that involves variables is an equation. These conclusions are also valid for equations as in each equation variable represents a number only. Often an equation is said to be like a weighing balance. Doing a mathematical operation on an equation is like adding weights to or removing weights from the pans of a weighing balance. An equation is like a weighing balance with equal weights on both its pans, in which case the arm of the balance is exactly horizontal. If we add the same weights to both the pans, the arm remains horizontal. Similarly, if we remove the same weights from both the pans, the arm remains horizontal. On the other hand, if we add different weights to the pans or remove different weights from them, the balance is tilted. That is, the arm of the balance does not remain horizontal. We have a figure on the right side showing this concept. A weighing scale with LHS and RHS as equal weights. A balanced equation is like a weighing balance with equal weights in the two pans. We use this principle for solving an equation. Here, of course, the balance is imaginary and numbers can be used as weights that can be physically balanced against each other. This is the real purpose in presenting the principle. Let us take some examples. Consider the equation x plus 3 is equal to 8, equation 4.6. We have a figure below this that shows what we just did. The LHS on the left side of the weighing balance, x plus 3, and the number on the right side of the equality sign, 8, both shown as the weighing pans of this weighing scale which is perfectly balanced. We shall subtract 3 from both sides of this equation. The new LHS is x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to x and the new RHS is 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Since this does not disturb the balance, we have new LHS is equal to new RHS or x is equal to 5, which is exactly what we want. The solution of the equation 4.6. Why should we subtract 3 and not some other number? Try adding 3. Will it help? Why not? It is because subtracting 3 reduces the LHS to X. Page 84 To confirm whether we are right, we shall put X is equal to 5 in the original equation. We get LHS is equal to x plus 3, which is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, which is equal to the RHS as required. By doing the right mathematical operation, that is, subtracting 3 on both the sides of the equation, we arrived at the solution of the equation. Let us look at another equation, 
x minus 3 is equal to 10. Equation 4.7. We have the equation shown by the help of a figure here again. The left side of the weighing balance shows the weighing pan as x minus 3 and the right weighing pan is shown by 10. The weighing scale is perfectly balanced. What should we do here? We should add 3 to both the sides. By doing so, we shall retain the balance and also the LHS will reduce to just X. New LHS is equal to X minus 3 plus 3 which is equal to X. New RHS is equal to 10 plus 3 which is equal to 13. Therefore, X is equal to 13 which is the required solution. By putting x is equal to 13 in the original equation 4.7, we confirm that the solution is correct. LHS of original equation is equal to x minus 3 is equal to 13 minus 3, which is equal to 10. This is equal to the RHS as required. Similarly, let us look at the equations 5y is equal to 35. Equation 4.8 m upon 2 is equal to 5. Equation 4.9 In the first case, we shall divide both the sides by 5. This will give us just Y on LHS. New LHS is equal to 5Y upon 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by Y upon 5, which is equal to Y. New RHS is equal to 35 upon 5, which is equal to 5 multiplied by 7 upon 5, which is equal to 7. Therefore, y is equal to 7. This is the required solution. We can substitute y is equal to 7 in equation 4.8 and check that it is satisfied. In the second case, we shall multiply both sides by 2. This will give us just M on the LHS. The new LHS is equal to M upon 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to M. The new RHS is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 10. Hence, M is equal to 10. It is the required solution. You can check whether the solution is correct. One can see that in the above examples, the operation we need to perform depends on the equation. Our attempt should be to get the variable in the equation separated. Sometimes, for doing so, we may have to carry out more than one mathematical operation. Let us solve some more equations with this in mind. Example 5 Solve A 3n plus 7 is equal to 25. Equation 4.10 B. 2P minus 1 is equal to 23. Equation 4.11 Solution A. 
we go stepwise to separate the variable n on the LHS of the equation. The LHS is 3n plus 7. We shall first subtract 7 from it so that we get 3n. From this, in the next step, we shall divide by 3 to get n. Remember, we must do the same operation on both sides of the equation. Therefore, subtracting 7 from both sides. 3n plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 25 minus 7. That's step 1. Or 3n is equal to 18. Page 85. Now, divide both sides by 3. 3n upon 3 is equal to 18 upon 3. That's step 2. Or n is equal to 6, which is the solution. B. What should we do here? First, we shall add 1 to both the sides. 2p minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 23 plus 1. That's step 1. Or 2p is equal to 24. Now, divide both sides by 2. We get 2p upon 2 is equal to 24 upon 2. That's step 2. Or p is equal to 12. Which is the solution? One good practice you should develop is to check the solution you have obtained. Although we have not done this for part A above, let us do it for this example. Let us put the solution P is equal to 12 back into the equation. LHS is equal to 2p minus 1, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 12 minus 1, which is equal to 24 minus 1, which is equal to 23, which is equal to RHS. The solution is thus checked for its correctness. Why do you not check the solution of part A also? We are now in a position to go back to the mind-reading game presented by Appu, Sarita and Amina and understand how they got their answers. For this purpose, let us look at the equations 4.1 and 4.2, which correspond respectively to Amina's and Appu's examples. First, consider the equation 4x plus 5 is equal to 65. Equation 4.1. Subtracting 5 from both sides, 4x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 65 minus 5, that is, 4x is equal to 60. Divide both sides by 4. This will separate x. We get 4x upon 4 is equal to 60 upon 4, or x is equal to 15, which is the solution. Check if it is correct, now consider 10y minus 20 is equal to 50. Equation 4.2. Adding 20 to both sides, we get 10y minus 20 plus 20 is equal to 50 plus 20. Or 10y 
is equal to 70. Dividing both sides by 10, we get 10y upon 10 is equal to 70 upon 10 or y is equal to 7, which is the solution. Check if it is correct. You will realize that exactly these were the answers given by Appu, Sarita and Amina. They had learned to set up equations and solve them. That is why they could construct their mind-reader game and impress the whole class. We shall come back to this in section 4.7. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.